Welcome back, everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we're going to rebuild our freighter base. I was going to do this off camera, but then I got to thinking, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it on camera. Uh, maybe we'll change things up a little bit uh, as we go. And also, I kind of don't have uh, a lot of time in real life to to do that off camera and then record an episode so those are the reasons um so the first thing we need is we're gonna need like silver and tritium uh to rebuild these rooms uh, we have to get over here uh so like the freighter corridor for example requires silver and tritium and we do have some of that but i also am gonna need things like you know gold and silver and where's the um Where's the room that's just, yeah, like this is going to require pure ferrite. I have a lot of that stuff, but unfortunately I don't have it currently on the ship because it's all down at the base. Um, so we either we could do a couple of possible things here. Um, <clears throat> I could try and, um, can I build the, whoops, uh, can I build the storage? That's going to require silver and sodium. Um, okay, so let's see. We're going to need 50 silver and 20 sodium per. And we need to do 10, so that's 500 and 200 of each of those resources. Okay, so we have 319 silver there. You know what, though? The thing is, is I only need to get to the third storage in order to get all of those resources back up here. Um, where's my sodium? Yeah, see, that's gonna, we're not gonna have enough sodium to do this unless we do something different. Let's try this. Let's set up our number one. Um, room temporarily. It's not going to stay here. And then this should have a bunch of sodium in it. Okay, good. Alright, now if we place our zero storage first and put it right here where it was then we can move the number one storage over. Um, C. Okay. And then we want to, uh, there we go. Move that over to here. Good. Okay. And then the other. Why isn't that? You know, to no, I don't want to delete it. What? Okay. And then <clears throat> the other one we need is the third storage, which we should now have enough resources to put in. And that goes here. Excellent. Okay. So that gives us all of our basic resources back that we can then use to rebuild the freighter base here. So this station... Um, was over here. I'm not even sure. Is this room a functional room or is it just decorative? I'm not even sure what it's here for or what it does. Um, let's, but let's move it because that's not where it's supposed to be. Um, so I'm just going to temporarily put it hex, hexa, hexagonal table. An all purpose work surface built from no matter. Okay, so this is just a, a decoration, I think. So let's just put it right there for the time being, because we might use that again at some point. Oh man, I keep hitting the wrong doggone button there. Okay. So now this is just an open room that we should also be able to move and reuse later. So let's go back to here and then Cannot delete player is inside this module. I am? There. Okay. Let's just stick this here for now. Okay. 
And then the first thing that we had here was our terminus. All right, so let's go back to here and find the terminus room, teleport chamber right here. And we are missing antimatter and an amino chamber. Okay, so we should be able to make that, hopefully, with what we have here. Really? I thought we had a crap ton of chromatic metal in this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, that's three. We need <laughs> we need that to be two. Okay, that, that explains it. Okay, so let's, let's move this over to here, because this is where this actually goes. Okay, I don't think it matters what angle these are on. I think they're all the same. And then we need to put two here, not three. There we go. Now we should be able to make antimatter. And um, how many did it say we needed again? Let's look at that. For the terminus room, or teleport chamber rather, uh, we need three antimatter and one amino chamber. Okay. So, one, two, three antimatter and an amino chamber is, 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 where is that? Here. One, uh, no, just one. There, okay. So now we should be able to make the terminus room, teleporter room. Teleport chamber. There we go. Okay. And then the next, whoops, uh, the next module we had after this was the, uh, the, uh, the galactic terminal. Um, so that's going to be, or the galactic trade room, rather. That's going to uh, go right there. And then we had our first fleet room over there. So let's grab the ones that we currently have and move them over. Well, no, actually, let's leave those there for the moment. Well, no. Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained. We, we need to move this one so we can finish our setting up our storage. Okay, so let's go here and here and grab that fleet room. Fleet command room, and then put that over there. And I think... Uh, which direction did I have that before? I think I want it to go this direction. Okay, good. All right, now let's go back over hither. And we want to put storage number four in this lot. Okay, and then five will go in this lot. Beautiful. Okay, this is our planetary probe. Oh, you know what? I think actually I ended up moving that over here for quicker access. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's move you over... We'll put you right there for the moment. And then I want to move you over to that other room. It's not going to let me do that, though, is it? Because there won't be a passageway. All right, let's temporarily put that there. Okay, we're going to grab the star chart room. Uh, I want this to be up towards the front because we use it frequently when we're traveling like to a new system. Okay, so let's move this over and put it right next to the terminus. 
Okay, good. Um, now, for the galactic trade thingy, which we don't actually use all that often on this ship because it's limited. I believe I had it over in this corner before. Because all this whole space here was all refiners, which we're, we're going to set back up to. Um, so I guess, yeah, let's um, let's just go ahead and put it back where I had it before, which is over here. Okay. And then we can start setting up the fleet rooms all along here like we had before. So I think I have at least one more fleet room already set up on this ship. Yeah, right here. Um, before we do that, though, what is this? This is just a, a hallway piece. Okay, so we want to put storage container 6 here. attached to existing room. Okay, I think that means I'm going to have to get rid of this. Um, oh, I guess I just got rid of it. Okay, that works. So we want six to go in the... Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? Let's just delete this, so X. It's kind of tricky there. There we go. Okay, that's what we needed to do was delete it, and we just get the resources back for it. Okay, now we can put six in here. Okay, and we want seven to go in here. Um, if it will let us, it might not. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, it's not going to let us because there's another room here. Okay, so for this table, let's move it. I'm just going to put it right here for now. Make sure that it's um, square. Why is it at an angle? Uh, okay, left shift to cycle access. Z is rotate, left shift. There. Does it tell me what degree it's at or do I just have to vis visibly look at it? I'm not even sure how that got off out of whack in the first place. Okay, I think that looks level there. So, we don't want it to clip too far through the wall. Maybe right there, except for I still think left shift needs to come this way maybe a bit. Okay, let's go with that. Where did it go? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I lost it for a second. All right, well, that's good enough for the moment. That might not stay there permanently. Okay, let's grab the fleet command room out of here. And we want to bring that over to here. And stick it there. Okay. Now, what else do we have here? We just have this one room. We've got this room with the desk. But I want to finish out the storage first. Okay, so let's go here, here, 
and I just want to delete this room. Okay. Whoop. And then go to storage. We need seven here. Eight goes here. And then we had nine tucked back in this corner here. All right. Now, in these two rooms, we had our, our two uh, overseer guys. Um, so, yeah, let's... We want to put them back in here for now. Um, or do we want to do something different for that? Well, here, let's come back to that. I want to set up my refiner refiner uh, next, which are going to go in here. So this desk I can once again, um, I'm just going to put it over here for now to get it out of the way. It's not where it's going to stay permanently. And now we want to set up four refiners. Oh, there's more stuff in here. I thought that was part of the desk itself. Okay. I'll just stick that down there on the floor. And grab this thing too. And put it right there. And then this room we're just going to delete. Okay. Now let's set up our refiners. Refiner room. We had four of these. And what's in here? Oh, yeah, we got to move this. Except for I don't have it rotated correctly. There. Okay. Run it out. Okay, now we put another refiner in here. Okay, good. So that gets us set back up with the refiner room the way we had it before. Now we need fleet command modules going down this way. And I don't remember if we had like five of them, maybe? I think we did have five, if I recall correctly. So let's go to uh, fleet command room. Okay, make sure it's turning that way. Make sure it's turning that way. So that gives us one, two, three, four, and this would be the fifth one. If we put a sixth one in, do we have a fleet in it? We do not. Okay. So we don't really need the sixth one, at least not right now. You know what, though? I think I might leave it there anyway. Okay. I think we had next over here, uh, we had one stellar extractor room. So that can go there. And I think next to this we had we had the exocraft room in somewhere. You know what I think I'm gonna actually do is let's let's move the extractor room over. here and I'm gonna put the exocraft whoops don't do that exocraft room here wait what just happened exocraft oh we need a warp cell for that okay 
that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so we need one antimatter and one antimatter housing and one warp cell. Okay. Okay, so that can go there. What I had previously in these spots was the... were the two overseers, but I'm not, I'm not so sure I'm going to even put them on my freighter. They might We might just keep them down on the planet side base, at least for the time being. Okay, now I want to... Uh, whoops. No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to turn this this way. There we go. And I know we, you know, eventually we're, we're going to probably want to make a bunch more of those. But for now, I'm just trying to get us back to where we were before, you know, I changed ships and everything got lost. Which I'm thinking is pro was probably a bug with the new update. Because if you guys watched the last episode, it did not give me an option to move my base over. And I don't understand why it didn't, so I think that was a bug. Okay, um, I'm trying to remember, let's see, did we have a couple of bio rooms set up? I'm not sure if we did or not. I feel like there's a couple more things we're missing here. Well, let's do this. We're going to uh, delete that room. Hopefully the Corvax doesn't get stuck in there. If he does, he's stuck in the wall forever now. Well, not forever. Um, and then I want to just keep this corridor um, going down this way. Um, at least as far down as our, for now, our uh, fleet command rooms. Could uh, intersect it here. And the only reason I'm doing that is just because it kind of gives me an an outline of of our currently used space overall. And we have all this space in between here that we can put more more base stuff. Uh, you know what? Let, let's go ahead and bring our overseers. Let's put them up. We might as well. Um, so, we could put them... Maybe we will put them back where they were. The thing is, is we're, we're going we're gonna to need room for at least one, maybe two more overseers down the road. Not, you know, and that's not to say we couldn't change things up at that point. I'm almost thinking we should have the Stellar Extractor over by the refiners. That just feels like it makes more sense. So, let's go ahead and grab this. And put it over here instead. And since we're moving stuff, we'll grab the Exocraft room. I mean, it does kind of doesn't matter where this goes because it's... Uh, it's not something we have to actually interact with. We just have to have it on the ship. And then over uh, over here we had the uh, overseer rooms. So that means we had the command construct. We had the construction specialist room here, and we had this. I think it was the science. Specialist room? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's actually the only one we know anyway. Was there. And then those guys will appear in their those slots at some point. Um, they'll, they'll just magically appear there at some point. Okay. So, other than getting started with some farming rooms, which I definitely want to do... 
that I think gets us caught back up to where we were. Now what we could also do if we wanted to is we could actually set up some um, like some captain's quarters and crew crew chamber and stuff like that just for funsies. If we were going to do that, we want to look at industrial room expansion, refiner room. I may not have learned nutrition room. Yeah, I, I, I want to devote a big section of the ship to, you know, to these rooms. Oh, that's right. We did have the nutrition room. Oh, that gives us the cooking stuff. Okay, so I, th I think, here's what I'm thinking. We start the nutrition room here, and then a very large chunk of the ship in this corner of the ship will become our farm. And we'll start, we'll start, um, you know, uh, growing things. And I want a double cultivation chamber. I think for each one that we do. Not sure what direction. I guess it kind of does. Looks like it doesn't matter. Looks like it's the same both directions. And so we just basically start putting in a bunch of these to start growing things. What is that costing me? Silver, oxygen, and poop. Okay. So maybe we'll start with this many rooms and then we'll just we'll reserve everything going that way and this way for more of these crop plots as we continue to expand things and then this is where we can cook it all I like that idea I like it very cool okay and then for the captain's quarters I think I'm going to save this block of stuff here to expand refiners and maybe stellar extractors, that sort of thing. So starting on the other side of this corridor, we could, we could build our captain's quarters. So let's once again... Put in that there and maybe one more. And let's put a bulkhead door here. See, we still have so much room to expand. I mean, it just goes way out there. Uh, but this could be like a little lookout area for now. And we could put... Um, you know, some balconies and stuff out there. Um, I'm just trying to think about something here for a minute. We might want that to go out a little further. Oh uh, no, let's just delete that. We'll go down one more. Now, let's go to, do we have, um, we got the industrial room. Let's go look at upgrades. And I'm assuming we can put the, the, the smaller base teleporters on a freighter because, I mean, this thing could get enormous eventually so we could like teleport from the bridge to the far end of the ship that kind of idea uh, but let's look at this stuff here um, base parts and upgrades we still need to 
Okay, we need 12 salvage frigate modules to unlock that. Uh, but what I was looking for is over more over here. Uh, this is the technology room. And then we can get windows and the catwalks for outside, which we will do eventually. This is an appearance modifier. Oh, no, yeah. That I just don't don't uh, feel like using up a salvage frigate module and taking up space in my freighter for something that I'm not going to do very often, if ever. And I can always go to a space station for that. So maybe way down the road when we're just like completely wealthier than God kind of thing, we might do something like that for the heck of it. But um, all right. Anyway, so we have a couple of just decorative rooms, and I think this is one of them. It's a technology room. And so let's let's get that one. Um, because I'm sure I have plenty of salvage frigate modules. This is just a... I think this is just decorative 2, the biological room. And then what's this? Oh yeah, parents modifier. Okay. So now, let's go back this way. Man, it takes me a, a half a mile just to get to the quarters here. All right, now we can either do industrial expansion room. Let's look at that, see what it looks like. That's not, doesn't give a very homey feel, does it? What about, the technology expansion, what does that look like? I would have to say for a quarters, I like this technology expansion room better than the industrial expansion room. That's really cool though. <laughs> it's got like the, the turbines or whatever down below. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and uh, here and we're gonna delete that. And we're going to use technology room expansion to make our quarters here. Okay, is there a way to... Oh, actually, can we do this? Yeah, we can make a door into our room, but how about, can I just make this a solid wall? I don't see that option. I'm, I wonder if that's um something we would unlock over here. Let's take a look-see. Okay, so stairs, platform, catwalk, stairs, internal freighter wall. That's what we want. But we have to unlock the window first. All right, you know what? How much? How many salvage frigate modules do I have? Because I wasn't really planning on doing a lot of deco stuff until we had all of our more important things like the, you know, the warp drive and stuff. Um, I have uh, what? I don't have anything in there? What the heck? Okay, what about in here? Oh, here they are. Okay. So I have five more salvage frigate modules. And I think what I was doing was saving them up to get this final warp drive upgrade. Uh, well, no, both of these. But... I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna spend t two to get this wall. Freighter 
glass stairs. Oh, that's cool. What is this? A ladder module? Okay. Um, just so we can kind of finish what we're doing here. Ooh. We're going to grab this, too. Okay. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to farm up some more freighter, uh, salvage frigate modules anyways. Okay, so... Let's go in to here. To put this wall up... There. That's exactly what I want to do. Boom. Okay. Hey, you're you're walking into the captain's quarters, guys. Uh, you need to knock first to have permission. Okay, now... We're going to do this. <laughs> this is cool, man. Now we can, now we can look out into space. Okay, I'm, a, I'm assuming that this game has um, a, like a bed that you can put down. You know what we could do actually now, now that I'm looking at this? Is... We could expand, now that I have those walls... Well, basically what that means is it opens up two more of these slots here for something else later. <laughs> Everybody's in the captain's quarters. They must think we're going to have a party in here or something. Okay. So we'll start working on, um, you know, planting stuff here. I'm not going to do that in this episode because we're running out of time. But let's at least move this stuff into our quarters. And then I know there's a whole mess of furniture that we can unlock at the Space Anomaly um, or get it, you know, via quest rewards and stuff like that. So... That I'm just thinking about maybe using that too at some point. I, I'm sure we will actually. Uh, but let's move this furniture over into our quarters, and uh, we'll just put it. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Wrong thingy. We want to do this. Let's kind of put this in the corner here, where the captain sits. Um, let me get into this mode so I can kind of see what I'm doing a little better. Okay. Uh, we'll put this right about here. And hopefully it's flat and not... Yeah, that looks okay. All right, then we'll go grab the other pieces. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. It's too bad, though, we couldn't have just copied everything over, but it is what it is. All right, this table here, we will grab, and we want to make sure that we're on that axis so I don't accidentally screw up its angle. And we'll just stick this in this corner for now. Actually, no, let's put it in the center of the room. This will be like our debriefing center. Alright, that's good enough. Might not be absolutely perfect, but as long as it's not an eyesore, we're good. Then we just have those other two small pieces to move over here. We'll put that there. And then lastly, the globe. And that's good enough. Not perfect, but not a nice sore, as long as you don't look too closely at it. 
And it looks to me like if we look straight down this angle, the desk could probably be moved over a little bit to the left, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that gets our freighter base back up and running more or less uh, the way that it was previously. So the next step for the base is probably going to be to get start planting um, plants here and get that going so we can start ma manufacturing some of the high-end plant substances. And then this is my, my plants storage, so I've got stuff in here. In fact, um, let's move some of this over now that we got from killing all those critters. I still got a bunch of um, refined or uh, runaway mold that I need to get refined too. Uh, the more night can go in here as well. And uh, yeah, so I think we're back, back in business as far as our freighter goes. So I'm going to wrap up this episode here, and then in the next episode, we will probably, you know, maybe we'll work on the farm a, a little bit on camera, because I don't think it'll take us that long to plant it. So we'll probably do that on camera, and then I'm thinking get back to following the storyline uh, once again and continuing uh, with that. So. Um, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And I want you guys to know you all rock. See ya.